Oh my, it sucks to like Halo right now, doesn't it? Yeah, I saw the roadmap. Everyone's seen the roadmap. Well, who's paying attention? There's a lot of people who are not for a good reason, but for people that are holding on to Halo Infinite, turning into something great, at least by the end of this year, we were all waiting for a roadmap. They have it. It came out a few days ago, so I'm a little bit late on it. But um, yeah, I looked at it. Uh, it. I've seen a lot of video titles saying how it's disappointing. Halo's a disaster right now. I'll tell you what, it doesn't disappoint me because my expectations were already here. Is that a hot take? It's not. But as you can see from the gameplay, I am, well, that I'm, <laughs> of course, I'm talking at a separate time than me playing the game. But I'm using Halo Infinite gameplay, and I'm probably going to keep using it for a while because that's what I just find myself playing most of the time as far as multiplayer. Because it's fun. I like it a lot. I just enjoy getting that headshot and that little bloop that happens every time, every single time. That little audio cue is addictive to me, and more games that do that just... It should be in most games. I wish it was in Elden Ring. It sucks that Season 2 is six months long. It sucks that it's basically the rest of this year. But I knew, besides the six-month thing, I was hoping it would be four, but I knew that everything that they had already announced, everything that they had already talked about, uh, was it. That there wasn't really going to be any surprises. Maybe they could surprise us. I doubt it. I really, th I knew that for the rest of season two, it was going to be those two maps and those skins that they showed off and the game modes. And that was it. We already knew that before the roadmap. And I had no reason to think that there was going to be anything else on a roadmap for the rest of the season that would, that would be a little bit extra anymore. It's, you know, so whatever. I see the roadmap. It's like, oh, okay, it's, it's what I thought. Season three starting in November? Probably not, but... Uh, you know, like, listen, I've made it through this, like, entire drought of Season 1, and I'm still having fun with the game. You don't have to. The game does need a lot of shit. <laughs> at the very least, I want that player, uh, or no, what, pro progression system? I at least want that. But yeah, if I can make it through the rest of Season 1, which is not too much longer, and I've just made it this entire time having fun with it, I'm gonna be having fun with Season 2 the entire time with the new skins, with the battle pass that is... <laughs> six months? Why well, have a battle the battle pass is funny to me, just because in six months, like, the, we're gonna be done with it in one, right? You know, especially me, that just kind of plays it all the time. But still, it's nice that it's there. The story events, okay, that's actually something that I wasn't, um, I wasn't thinking too much on, because even though it was in the Season 2 trailer, yeah, that'll be fun to see. There's two story events that I saw in the Road Magpie, I think, and they're at different points in the season, so at least there's, there's that. Um... I don't know how I don't know how significant that is. It'll be cool to see lone wolves in a Halo game. I uh, but I don't really have share too much excitement about that. I don't know. Maybe you will. Maybe you. But I have held the belief since what February when I kind of realized, oh, this game's not really gonna. It's not gonna be an operational Death Star until this time next year. At least, at least there's some saying that hey, it's gonna go on until. 2024 before it becomes like a fully operational game with all the bells and whistles that should be there for a Halo game? I don't think so. That seems kind of afar. 2024? I think that 343 can get their stuff together, their ducks in a row, before then. I don't know what I have to base that off of other than just general competency of a large studio? And seeing that this game has core gameplay that I just like a lot. Not that like, oh, I like the gameplay a lot, therefore this game should... No, it's just that before, when I wasn't really too interested in Halo 4 and 5, this gameplay... Like, they made this. They made this gameplay. Was Is it a little bit scuffed? Yeah. Did they do it, like, at the last minute? Yeah. Under the context of a really complicated development? Yeah. But they were still able to make something that I really, 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 really like and that I've been enjoying so much for the past few months. And they made that. That alone is, gives me the confidence or just the logic in my head that, oh, okay, it won't be until 2024. They can make something. They, they can add all those things that this game needs by this time next year. That sucks that it's like a year, more than a year and a half, right? A more than a year and a half after, no, about a year and a half after the game's release. That sucks, and it sucks that that's where Halo is at. But that's what I think it's going to be at. It's going to be really fun. The real wishful thinking, the copium that uh, we can hold on to is that maybe 343 will surprise us at some point this year. Season 2 or 3. Season 3 begins at the end of this year. 
that they will surprise us with something that we just weren't expecting before. Just one surprise, actually. That would be nice. That would garner a little bit of goodwill. I'm not expecting it. I'm not going to hold out on that. I'm just saying it would be nice. But besides that, considering everything that I just talked about and just like the roadmap and that this game is basically that for the rest of the year, there's not much to uh, else to talk about. This game is going to have the two maps, uh, the new battle pass. <laughs> I listed two things and I have three fingers up. Uh, two, it's going to have the battle pass. Uh, new game modes, that, that's going to be fun. Less Spartans Sanding is going to be an absurdly fun game to me. I can tell that I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. Uh, and the story events, some other things maybe, but that's it for the rest of the year. The Whatever else there is to talk about this game is pretty much only going to be from what? The cookbook, lore stuff, the TV show, so what am I saying? Stuff that's not like in the game actually. And uh, stuff that happens in social media, like this 343 employee said this, or like they give an update on Halo Waypoint, and you know, people start making content around that stuff. That's basically gonna, gonna be it for the rest of the year. I don't see a lot of content on YouTube from the game itself happening. So yeah, I probably am not gonna keep talking about Halo. I'm gonna keep playing it. I'm gonna keep using it as B-roll, the gameplay that I have in multiplayer, because it's fun and it gives you something to look at, but I'll probably just start talking about other things. That's right, you single viewer that has been watching this this entire time. If that kills your desire to watch anything else from me, dip out. That's it. I'm still going to upload as much as I can because this is I'm trying to make this as absurdly easy to, to make. I don't have a big production value, clearly. But I just want to talk about stuff that I like. So, uh, yeah, that's it.